Whether you are a Taylor Swift fan or a Tyler Kelsey fan, you have to have noticed Kansas City. I'm Mara Coleman, a Kansas City realtor and a lifelong Kansas City resident. And today I'm gonna to show you Travis and Taylor's Kansas City. So one of the biggest questions we get about Kansas City and one that I wanna start with is where the heck is it? Are we in Kansas or are we in Missouri? Well, yes, <laughs> Kansas City is in both. The biggest part of Kansas City, I guess maybe the part that you would want to go and uh, do most of your entertainment in is on the Missouri side and that is Kansas City, Missouri. There is right next to that, Kansas City, Kansas and where we are right now, where Travis and Taylor live is in Johnson County. So Kansas City, Missouri has probably around 510,000 residents that live there. It is wide and big, and then there are quite a few suburbs on the Missouri side, part of Kansas City, Missouri, and um, a little cities that surround it as well. Kansas City, Kansas is just a little bit to the west, and Kansas City, Kansas has about 150,000 residents. It has a large Hispanic population and uh, uh, among others, it's well quite diverse and it is also known for its taco trail. And I can tell you from experience, some of the very best Mexican food and the very best tacos can be found in Kansas City, Kansas. Pretty much everyone has noted that Travis has bought a house in Johnson County and that is on the Kansas side. And that is where I am now. I'm very close to their house, which is near the Holbrook Country Club. It's a beautiful area in Johnson County, specifically in Leewood, Kansas. It's a suburb, I uh, have fantastic school district called Blue Valley School District, wonderful schools for their most beautiful children that they may have in the future. And there are probably around 650,000 people that live in Johnson County. Now Johnson County is part, it kind of encompasses a lot of different cities, Overland Park, Lenexa, Prairie Village, Leewood, where we are. Um, Leewood and Overland Park are probably the largest. It has a very diverse, um, really wide range of homes here that um, it really range from probably about 200,000. And as we know, can go up into the um, six point something millions and higher. It's a really uh, well diverse, interesting neighborhood or city. Not, it's not a city, county, Johnson County. And uh, there's lots of affordable homes that you can find here. And also some really big, beautiful, can I find any? Stately homes as well. So what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna take you around Kansas City and show you some of the places that I think uh, Taylor and Travis would enjoy. I'm sure that Travis has been to some of them. He knows about them. Taylor, maybe she knows about them. Um, if you're watching, I think you should try some out. Some of them I'm sure you'll have to rent out and uh, create some privacy for yourselves. But um, this is my Kansas City and I love it here. Those of you who have paid attention to Taylor's arrival to Sunday's game know she showed up in the most adorable vintage uh, Chiefs sweatshirt. and just the whole outfit was amazing. Well, the sweatshirt came from here, West Side Story, which is in one of my favorite neighborhoods of Kansas City, West Side. And I kind of think they would really like it here too. It wouldn't give them the privacy that they have in their uh, home in Leewood, however, but it's fantastic. There are so many great restaurants here. Yoli Tortilleria across from behind me there is Bluebird Cafe. And I'll show you uh, right around the corner is one of my favorites, uh, West Side Local, great little hamburger place and just fantastic dinner. So West Side is a great little neighborhood. Let me show you inside this great store where you can get your next vintage sweatshirt and look just like Taylor. Barbecue is a really important part of Kansas City culture. Now, I don't know if Taylor eats barbecue. I'm sure Travis does. This barbecue joint is pretty much, I think, the best in Kansas City. 
you will have lots of arguments about what the best barbecue place is in Kansas City. But Joe's KC uh, is really, I'm, in my opinion, it's my favorite. And if you come here, you must get the Z-Man. And it's a fantastic little sandwich. You also can't beat a barbecue joint that's inside of a gas station. That's an, adds a whole new level. So um, this would be my vote for barbecue. Joe's KC usually has a line. They do today. And they will go until probably either they run out or lunch is over. I would imagine Taylor and Travis will probably have to rent this place out. This is also a favorite of Jason Sudeikis and Heidi Gardner. So lots of good people love Joe's KC. The Nelson Atkins is a world renowned museum that we have in Kansas City. We have a, where I'm here in the block wing building. It's the new er uh, segment of the Nelson that holds all the modern and uh, transitional art that comes through. And then we have the traditional, the big old uh, building as well that is also just gorgeous. I'd say that Taylor needs to make a trip over here they are closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so those might be good days for Travis and Taylor to take a big or a quick trip through the Nelson Atkins. Right around the corner is the Kemper Art Museum. It's a contemporary art museum, and that is lovely as well. Lots of traveling artwork that goes through there, as well as a really beautiful permanent collection. Kansas City, we really do have some spectacular art in our city. If you need a little bit more convincing, I have a video right here that you need to click on to watch a little bit more about Kansas City.